back, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania once again. Two, we're just call these guys the B&B boys. On the right, Barnes. How you doing, Barnesy? I'm great, how are yourself? I'm doing well. And on the left, Bell. The legend, Hal Bell. How you doing today, Hal? Great, yourself, come. I'm doing good. Hi, right, Hal. All right, Barnesy, we're talking about the uh, Pittsburgh Pirates. Yes. Mm -hmm. Winter meetings came and gone. Yes. Pirates made no moves. They made a couple yes. more. Minor. It was the winter meetings for everyone else that wasn't the Pirates. But the, exactly. But, but it's still, it's still the whole league. This off season has been the slowest off season yeah. in the history of the yes. game for free agent signings. Yes. No big name has really signed yet. No. And in uh, the winter, the trade, the, the trade, the winter meetings. There was basically any really block much to trade. Unless you consider Stanton. Yes. And that was a money move. Which was a salary exactly. dog. Right, let's talk about the Pirates. Okay. General Manager Neil Huntington came out the other day and said, basically he doesn't know what direction the Pirates are going. Are they going to build for 18? Or are they going to shoot for 19? Uh, what is your, what, how do you guys feel as diehard Pirates fans when you hear that kind of statement? First with you, Ryan. You know what? It's, uh, it gets old after a while. Okay. Here's the motto. They say, oh, no move was the right move. Total BS once again. Here, here's my thing, uh, Harvey. I say the Pirates, I think they're getting more the 2019 route. Okay. There's rumors out there that the Pirates and Yankees are working on a potential trade. Right. You know what? Honestly, you're going to think I'm crazy, but you're going to have to do it. A small market team like the For Pittsburgh Cole? Pirates. That's the guy that's going to bring you the big coup. They'll yes. bring you the big return. Huge haul. You're saying Clint Frazier. And um, a starting pitcher, pitching prospect who's ready. You have to bank on it, or you have to. Okay. And and next thing you know, they try to uh, deal with Cervelli. Are you guys finished? But Cervelli, I think um, you're gonna have to. He's gonna want him. Exactly. And, and you know what, too? I hate to say, everyone loves him because yes, thank you. Because you know the song, that's the more, and that's great and all. But it's about how you produce on the field, ladies and gents. Okay, how about you, Hal? Well, you know what? If they trade Garrett Cole, someone should give me a white flag so I can start waving it now. <laughs> All that this franchise is about is saving money, putting the cheapest ball club on the field as they can, and presenting it to the people as, well, we're going to make money, a lot of things. You know? Take a positive outlook on something that's so a negative. And and wallet, no. for Clint Hardo to go on the baseball network with all smiles and telling him, yeah. well, we have a bunch of grinders it's here. Called, hey, how? It's called drinking the Kool-Aid. Well, you know what? Yes. Right. As a fan, I've about yes, had it, it with the uh, Kool-Aid. When was the last time you had Kool-Aid? I have it all, all the time when I'm thinking about the problems. Okay. <laughs> okay? All right? Yeah. Okay, are you finished? What are you doing? Okay. Well... Uh, What's your kind of, who do you put the onus on now? Well, it's uh, Mr. Mis Mr. Sports Center. Robert Nutty. Okay. Okay. For not giving Neil Huntington yes, the funds to pursue okay. good talent. Okay. Okay? And he doesn't even care. He wasn't even at, at a pirate fest. Right. So you put the you put the blame goes back to the ownership, right? Well, yeah. Yes, the number one soul. A lot of people are saying it's not Huntington's fault. He's not given the resources. Well, he's not given a, a, a fair fair strike. Here's the thing. But last year, he didn't do enough with the money that he was given. Okay. But he's not really given a okay, lot so of money. You're, in you're putting the onus on Nutting, and then Nutting again for bringing back Huntington. Am I right? Yes. yes. But how about you, Ryan? You know what? Oh, that's a great question. You guys are going to think I've been drinking the Kool Aid. But since Huntington has taken over uh, the new Pirates management back in, what, 2006? Seven. Yeah. I was a uh, junior in high school. Okay. And I was excited. Um, well, that was, I've been 10 years now since I yeah, graduated. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and still, he, what, what bat has he produced? Only Josh Bell. And the bat has so you, you know? So you, who do you put the major blame to on? Uh, Nothing. Well, I'm not because okay. if, if Huntington hat would work better, I think he would do better if he had a better owner. It's okay. always with a better payroll, more money to work. But he hasn't yes. drafted well. No, a, a big F plus. Okay, okay. As usual, I we appreciate it. B and B boys, thank you, gentlemen.